Hello, Internet friends. My name is Bay. I'm still wearing the grayish, bluish, purplish shirt. Purplish? The board's got purple on it. And this is more Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. But I'm Bad, a light commentary playthrough where sometimes I get tilted by Odin. Right now I'm trying to figure out this Queen's Blood challenge, and I think this is it. Yes, we did it. <laughs> but while the tokens get tallied and we win this one, if you want to watch any other long form RPG playthroughs, there is a ton on my YouTube channel, both of the Soulsborne variety, as well as both God of Wars and both Jedi games and Super Mario RPG, the new remake on the Nintendo Switch. Those are all available if you would like. Uh, this may be a little awkward. I just can't I can't have the Queen's Blood music playing for doing all of these right now. So I'm probably going to do a couple more and then we'll move around to someone else and then come back because there's there's so much Queen's Blood here. So, but I'm not going to sit here for an hour and a half and play Queen's Blood. So I'll mix it around. We can always come back and do some more later. We are in free roam territory. Oh, I didn't read what Tifa does. Other than being cute. When you win the lane... Plus five, score bonus. Interesting. So both of these have a score bonus of 10, 10. This is 23. It kind of feels like I need to enfeeble the Crimson Mare and then win top lane the only place to play cactuar to actually use the plus three is here otherwise it doesn't do anything so let's process process of elimination that does something there. This buffs the same square. This debuffs the Crimson Mare. which doesn't exactly win us the lane, which is strange. And this puts her at 10 score, right? Which this would put us at, is it just Tifa here? Doesn't matter where she goes in this case. And it's, Griffin this. Yeah. Some of these are so much easier, man. I was on that Barrett one for so long. And then like the Cloud and Tifa ones, I'm just like, I see the matrix. Boom. These peas. So she is a and that might be an auto include because she actually pushes one forward to bottom. A great starting card for top lane. Okay, that was way easier. All right, Aerith is placed in a given lane. She enhances the cards on either side of her, uses Boon to bolster your forces. Raise the power of allied cards and effective house by three. This Leviathan map, lower the power of enemy cards and effective house by three when the cards in play. I had to find a place to put Leviathan. Let's see if I just see through the code. Oh, there's only three places to put cards. All right.
This is strange. None of these do anything. Is it just... That costs two down there. Hold on. Spacing. Hmm. Let's go try. Leviathan goes in one of these top two. Yep, and then this goes here, getting buffed, beating the Midgard Sormer lane. This just goes here to give us a two, and this goes here. We have a lot of debuffed enemies, we go to nine. Win by one point. Yeah, some of these are so, like, simple, and then... Neat. Aerith card could be a, an include in the um, the Ifrit deck, I think. Aerith and Tifa. Clouds could work too, but it's... Um, they all kind of could. Can you make a deck with all of the... Like, the squad? <laughs> could you squad squad? I didn't read them, dumb. Conberry, huh? When first enfeebled, lower the power of enemy cards on affected tiles by two. So it's a cheaper Leviathan. If you have to do enfeeble Nanaki. That means one to get enhanced. Okay. So this goes. Here. This goes here. Hmm. Nanaki has to get enfeebled. I don't have any actual enfeeble effects. I have to use an enemy. Hmm. I don't have any enfeebling cards of my own. And this doesn't work for buffing. This only lowers the power of enemy cards. It wouldn't lower the power of my own card. Oh, the Gee Spectre does. So wait, is, is this a bait? No, he doesn't move the needle. How do I... Hold on. But you kind of just want to do this. So 
but then I have nowhere to play. I don't, I don't have any, any cards to play. But destroying that doesn't give me a, a card, so this doesn't work. So one of these stone golems is a debate. The red has to go, like, right here. kind of want this to be here because your only way to debuff Nanaki is you have to put someone here. Do you not need to use all the cards in this one? What? Did it, did it work? It didn't work. You can't do that. Okay, one of these stone golems is a bait. Obviously. <clears throat> one of these stone golems doesn't do anything. But they also don't do anything. They don't move the needle. So you can't destroy this. So is it this? No, because that would destroy red see some of these are just guess that was it <laughs> sure sure that's something that it buffs the tonberry too much okay so the tonberries and stuff is destroyed and when allies just dis are destroyed. So you don't want to destroy. I really don't know where I can put. So is it this? This. No, red has to go there. How do I buff the other stone golem? I just can't. Does the stone golem just sit here? Like a dingus? Because that just kills the Tonberry. Is that enough? What? Am I stupid? The... The 
He, yeah, stop. Yeah, whatever. Um, hold on. Is this card bugged? Why did this go at a diagonal? I put this here to debuff red and it debuffed this guy. Why? It debuffs one right and expands one north. Red has to go in the middle of the board because he hits everything around the board. The problem is, for some reason, everything stacks at the same time. So instead of enfeebling the Tonberry and lowering its power to minus one, it doesn't die. Because this dies, which buffs the Tonberry. This doesn't, this doesn't, this doesn't, but this does. I don't know why it doesn't just destroy the Tonberry immediately, because it goes from one to minus one. But that doesn't do it. And you don't want to destroy the elephant because the elephant then dies and buffs the Tonberry. You want to debuff the golem. I think this card is bugged. Just look at where its effect is going. It's going one diagonal. Oh, it is one diagonal. For some reason, I was thinking the yellow. It's... I've been playing too much Queen's Blood. So this is the last challenge we do. For some reason, I thought the yellow was its spot. I was reading it wrong. I am the dumb. So where the heck... Well, this is now fudged. So they just kills you. So I have to play on a diagonal then. I'm stupid. Yeah, white square is the card. I was I was looking at it like, isn't it one right? And no. That's how you can tell I've been looking at Queen's Blood for too long. Yeah, see this is this is you can't is this doesn't work because you destroy the elephant. And you don't want to destroy any of these things. So how do I put a How do I destroy this guy? <laughs> so is is it is it really just is it this? Does red play bottom lane? This boy just sits here. Can you blow this thing up? Nope, that's not it. So red is not played bottom lane. You have to play red center. Because he needs to hit the Tonberry. So red has to go here. Does red just go here? That doesn't destroy the Tonberry, though. <laughs> How about a little uh, pause? I right, just had to stare at the board for the last... I don't even know how long, but there you go. There's the solution. Because you have to play everything at a diagonal. And the process of elimination just came down to I can only play red in two places, and one doesn't work, so play him in the other. And there you go. Right, let's try a skill drill. 
practice activating the amphi Amphidex and Giga Hadi's skills to boost the power of your cards while reducing the power of your opponents. Try positioning cards with skills that activate once enhanced to create a chain reaction. Where have some cards power changes depending on the state of adjacent cards. First time reward is uh, nothing. Skill drill. So, obviously, he buffs there. And he buffs the top two lanes. So, and he debuffs enemy cards in front of him. The Chocobo buffs. So it's just, just Frog here. Wait, it's the first time played. That doesn't work. Really? Oh, and so it's cat. It's Cactuar first. It's just it's Cactuar first. Duh. Because Cactuar isn't a when first played. And Frog Boy gets buffed. Buffs Big Man. That debuffs. And that wasn't that much of a chain reaction, though. That was pretty simple. I've been doing similar things like that in my deck for a while. Yeah, Chocobo gets buffed by all these. This gets buffed, so it buffs Chocobo. Okay, this is fine. <laughs> Easy. Yeah, it's wild how some of these challenges are just like... I immediately see the answer, others I don't. Yeah, first time enhanced, not played. Yep, yep, yep. Use the Desert Sahagan and Reaper Tail to enhance your other... I mean, these are just showing you how to make better or more involved decks, I guess. So use the Sahagan, Reaper Tail. To enhance your other cards when they are enfeebled, then activate Jabberwock's skill to enfeeble your opponent's cards in turn. Maybe the last one I'm gonna do and then I'm gonna do something else that's in Costa del Sol. There's so many card challenges and there's probably more on the gold saucer too so this is when first enfeebled indeed when first enfeebled when played lower the power then raise the power for one for each enfeebled ally or enemy card so is it just This is minus two, minus one. I mean, this is just... This is just showing you interactions, really. Oh, wrong. This has... This is here. Reaper Tail is here. Whoops. Reaper Tail middle. Oh no, that... Mmm. Okay, hold on. Really? Like that then? No. Hmm. Huh. 
Okay. That's not it. He doesn't give, he doesn't give, so I can't. No place I can play him is there. Yeah, okay. Had to buff the Jabberwock with the Sahagin, which is a weird, it, it wins. Okay. Strange. These are just showing you different ways so you can incorporate this into your decks, I guess. Okay. There's so many left. There's freaking six more of these things. We will come back. We were going to be in Coastal Soul for a little while. What else is there to do besides Queen's Blood? <laughs> Beat the heat with this magical tree. I'm on the hunt. It is my solemn charge to keep our slice of beachside paradise free from all manner of unpleasantness to that end. I employed a freelancer to uh, resolve a simple matter they have failed to do in a timely fashion and so I must once more seek outside assistance this time to deal with two problems rest assured you will be compensated well compensated Did you, is this a Kyrie quest I'm getting Kyrie vibes Billy you're reading this and I haven't told you in person yet you got permission to race in the gold cup Okay, waiting for you in Chocobo Square in the Gold Saucer for a lot more Chocobo racing. <laughs> this is the mayor. Well, if it isn't the talk of the resort, I can't thank you enough for handling that mess. Is there anything I can do for you? Ooh. Oh, that ungrateful schlub. <laughs> I hope the hero is enjoying his 15 minutes of fame. It won't last, and neither will his hilltop roach trap. Just give it time. <laughs> Yuffie's just... I certainly wasn't expecting the professor to do something like that. Still, I'm a simple man, and from what I gather, his experiment was of great scientific import. So while I could have done without the collateral damage, it fills me with pride to be the mayor who holds a special footnote in Shinra's illustrious history. Hmm. There were a few injuries, yes, but no guests were killed. In all honesty, the professor did us a service by ridding us of those robes. The freaks were ruining our ambience. Shinra also did us a service by providing us with a generous do- oh, uh, Forget I said anything. Well, all that ugliness is in the past. Let's look to our future. One that's bright and mutually beneficial. I'm not buying it. <laughs> oh, surely I can sell you on the idea of lending the merc I've hired a hand. What's this about a merc? Oh, perhaps your associates. Yeah. That makes things easier. You see, 
Some fiends popped out of the water and assaulted a group of innocent beachgoers the other day. The young lady agreed to exterminate those pests, only to go on a bender at a bar on the beach. I paid her a handsome sum up front, too, so I intend to get my money's worth. Oh, and after you've gotten rid of those monsters, as a personal favor, I want you to take care of that merc. Uh... She's been spending the money I paid her to do nothing but party. Kyrie. Each time she learned there are some folks you don't cross. Hmm. Agreed. I've no doubt you'll find her at that damned bar. Do give her my regards. Dealing with those monsters should bring my approval rating back up just in time for the next election. Ick. No more Queen's blood right now. There's so much Queen's blood all of a sudden. Later. In in stride. Let's go talk to Johnny. Notwithstanding, I would have never stayed there. The owner's collection of artifacts could prove interesting subject matter. I mean, it's popping off. If you come across any cool curios, you know where to bring them. We're at 50. Of 88. There's 38 more. I was told you can't actually finish this. Some of these require uh, hard mode. So you don't even get to open, I would assume, what's behind Johnny until... Uh, hard mode. Yeah, the stuff that says currently unavailable is not able to be done in this difficulty. Dear Mr. Cloud Strife, I hope this letter finds you in good health. Allow me to express my heartfelt gratitude for sharing the gift of music with those around you. The world is a brighter place for your efforts. I only hope that you will continue to seek out and spread beauty in your travels. Sincerely, Piano Outreach Association Representative Dorian. Ah, yes, the P O A R. Well, if this is normal combat sims, hard mode. Combat Sims. Hmm. There's only the silver medals for the Musclehead Coliseum. Yep, only bronze and silver for struggle races. It goes uh, two more ranks above. There's gold and then obsidian or something. And some of the texture fidelity on these trophies is uh, real shit. <laughs> like some look great. Look at this. This is great. Why does it look like garbage? Well, we're getting there, Johnny. Maybe one day we can open this. It's red, though it's a summon materia.
a secret for hard mode. It's changed so much. I almost didn't recognize it. Johnny's always so old. Got a real good selection. All right, what else? Is, so the fiends are over here. Oh, track down the mark. In the day. Should we get changed? Break a little fan service out. I don't know if that's fan service from Barrett. It's when pure video game physics takes over, though, and Cloud Sword doesn't make any sense. Even more so than it already doesn't. Hello. I hope you haven't lost your touch. Your pet must feel like he's in an oven with all that fur. No pet. I'll stitch the perfect suit just for you. This is a completely sentient being, capable of difficult thought. He also has multiple personality disorder potentially. <laughs> Going on, bros. There's trouble in paradise. I know Junon was kind of a bust, but I'm back and better than ever. Same goes for my advertising. So don't you worry about me, my fellow Merc. Aren't you supposed to be working? <sighs> really? Another lecture? For a 20-something, you sound like my grandma. And for the record, I have been working. Thank you very much. I figured out where the fiends are probably going to show. All that's left is to have someone else do the cleanup. Let me guess. Me? Exactly. So don't try to pin it on this, Merc. The whole situation would be resolved if you did your job. Nobody likes a slacker. Man, this girl's got some nerve. And coming from me, that's seen a lot. <laughs> but if we don't do something, it's your good name that's going to end up taking the hit. <laughs> She's got a point. <laughs> so... Here's the deal. Your thoughtful boss has dug up a recipe for bait that ought to lure those monsters out of hiding. All you need to do is gather the materials and make some for yourself. Hmm. Here. When you're done, head to the off limits beach across town for some monster baiting. Excuse me? You're coming with. Can't do this alone. According to the recipe, it looks like you're gonna need to get some rare ass monster parts. And I do mean rare. Probably can't find them around here. Oh, did I say probably? I meant definitely. Oh my god. Wow. So it's one ingredient from all four of the rare monsters? I think I have all those on me right now, do I? Just need a Jabberwock horn. Oh, it's just two of the rare materials. I thought it was four. I guess the other two technically aren't. It's just an onion. That's the regular onion. Okay. Just gonna go beat up the Jabberwock again. That's no problem. According to the recipe, it looks, and I do mean rare. <laughs> to 
over time to boom, black, black. All right, that's just literally all Queen's blood. So the off limits beach. Oh, that's what that was. Okay. Easy enough. This poor monster. This ends here. Now. Get ready. Too easy. Try this. This little work now. of trouble. Maybe we've got to lure him out. Anything actually on the beach? Just nope. <laughs> Which one of us is losing the arm and leg? Oh, oh gosh. Oh, this is the legendary bait place. I thought this was the one with the... Oh, because it... Okay. Well, now we can just port here because this is the Uppelman's Beach. Okay. So we're going to go beat up the Jabberwock. Question is, can we just go there? We can. It was the one down here, right? No, that was the Grey Marlboro. Oh, Jabberwock's Cosmo Canyon. Oops. Cosmo Canyon. Which, if we're going to go to Cosmo Canyon, might as well check its bounty board. What happened? Did you see that rope? Step right up, folks. Huh? Being able to fast travel the whole world now is pretty nuts. You could before, you used to go to the certain place, then fast travel to the other place. And now it just doesn't matter. You've done it enough already. I was headed to the airstrip, but I had to run in with one hell of a fiend. I it on a merry chase until my baby's engines gave up the ghost, and now I'm stranded here. I can fix her, but so long as that bastard is still around, I doubt I'll get far regardless. If anyone can come and bail me out, I'll be in your debt. How did you post this? Is this like D and D sending or message? How'd you post this? 
Are you in a video game? This NPC knows they're in a video game. They're too powerful. <laughs> You're just in the middle of the freaking desert. All right. Go out here, do this, then we can go to the Jabberwock. We. What's the fiend? Is it a worm? Yahoo down there. Looks to me like you could use some help. Oh. Uh, wait. DJ? What are you doing here? <laughs> <laughs> it's good to see you too, Yuffie. And who's this? Oh, this is DJ. He was Avalanche HQ's, uh, guy on the ground? Informant? Right. And these are my helpless yet lovable minions. <laughs> it really is a small world. Hmm? You say something? Nope. Just glad you're okay. I'll be honest. When I first caught wind of Shinra's plan to drop the Sector 7 plate, I was pretty skeptical. But after you and I parted ways, I told HQ about everything I'd heard, and went around making sure my friends got out in time. And most of them did, but not all. So many lives I could have saved. I'll never forget the sight of the plate crashing down. Gonna haunt me forever. Hmm. I take it you tuned into Colonel Lodbrock's speech. Makes me proud to see folks finally banding together against that piece of shit company. <laughs> Wu Tai is gonna be at the heart of this fight, and I'm ready to risk it all to make sure we win. And yeah, definitely starting to really lay a lot of the groundwork for, I guess, the end of this game or probably the next one. The, the last and the, the finale. Nayo and them? We were on the run together after we fled Midgar. They decided to stay in Cosmo Canyon. Said they wanted to brush up on their planetology. Though, I don't know how well that'll go for them. All three seemed pretty down. I hope they're okay. Actually, since fate has deigned to bring us back together, mind if I ask a favor? You see, I ran afoul of this big old fiend. I put the pedal to the metal trying to escape and, well... Now I'm paying the price. Pretty sure the sucker's still around here somewhere. Mind uh, smoking him out and taking him down? A favor, huh? I suppose I could be persuaded, seeing as we are friends. But don't expect me to lift a finger for free. <laughs> Just name your price. <laughs> and you've got yourself a deal. So how do we find this thing? When it's not hunting, it's hiding. So it might be underground. But it should be easy to track down with one of those vibration detectors the Moogles sell at their shop. Ah. Be. Those monsters have got it all. You mean this? I already bought it. Really? I bought this thing like 50 hours ago. So blue, good, red, bad. That detector ought to point you in the right direction. Just keep your wits about you. Have to walk on foot though, I think.
right. I'm assuming up here in this cave. Okay, so we'll, um, we'll, you can't use your chocobo right now, so. Now is it toward the cave? around the desert, I guess. Not having to put it away and, and pull out the thing every single time he goes over a small rock is a little bit...
do be running. farther this way. <laughs> oh, there we go. It's big worm. Oh, God. Okay, this is a little bit obnoxious. It's so far away again. I am approaching and then not. What? further away it is so let's see if we're heading this way Giga worm. I got your number. Cripple its stomach after it swallows a rock. Deal with that. I'll show you what I can do. Together? That's the cool. way to do it. One more shot. Tagging out. I got this. Don't me. Oh my Why god, I knew it, this? man. Let's turn. You 
He jumps off the screen. How are you supposed to time that? TV set up. Annoying. I mean, it's not hard. It's just annoying because it jumps out of the frame and then you have to dodge before it lands on you and you just get swallowed. against the resistance effort once they tighten up the borders travel's gonna get tough yeah. so i've decided to head for wutai while i can you're going home too aren't you no not yet i can't not until i've gathered lots and lots of powerful materia <laughs> i see well try to stay out of trouble that goes for the rest of you as well you hear you're bound to get caught up in the SRC's business at some point or another. Better be prepared. Right. Nice seeing you. Good luck out there, Yuffie. Another magnify materia. See you back in Wutai! <laughs> Level 9. Let's go check those folios. For the like the folio thing is a system that is just you can't look at anywhere unless you're at the folio. You can't even just like see how many points they have. This doesn't show it either. It's weird. I guess I just felt like they would overload the player to have another system in the menu. I don't know. Okay, well that's done. We have three magnifies now. Actually, hold on. I was gonna check that. Also, I was gonna fix this. I haven't used any magnifies really yet. Two. What we just got, I think, was at because I think I leveled one of these. Yeah, I leveled one and we got one. Okay. Magnify is really good for new game plus and for farming. But only at max max power. Well, max level is minus twenty five percent potency, but you use it on like Viraga, which AOEs, so you can have one explosion if it's close enough, hit multiple things, and each each explosion hits everything else around it. So um, I'm not leveling up materia right now, but I could put this on someone. Yeah. Maybe put it on someone later. I realize I didn't have haste on anybody. Um, my only other haste I put was on Barrett. It was on Cloud, but I gave him a strength up instead. 
Okay. Oh, I can level that later. That's fine. Magnify material doesn't need a ton compared to some others. Okay. Now we need to go beat up this guy once. Rawr. You're nothing. Go Get on. ready. Power Tifa's so dumb. Getting all her buffs up right now. So stupid. So she buffs all of her auto attacks. She buffs all of her magic damage, which is also tied to her auto attacks. She buffs the plasma discharge, which happens whenever she finishes an ability. She does 20% more damage on all of her main abilities she uses, which I don't know if that includes the plasma charge. And then she just has so much ATB. <laughs> it's so stupid. It's so strong. Oh my gosh. Legendary bait. There we go. Oh man, that's funny. I think that's everything here. In me, good and gaga. No, 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 no. So we can go back here and then we can go back. Let me hit, let me hit a rest first, I guess. Just have to not get like knocked down 700 times for her to get her full combo going. Little butt towel. Legendary bait for legendary fiends. Let's see what this is all about, huh? It feels like you could farm this multiple times. I wonder if you would ever do this. Can you do this over and over again or just once? Let's see. Legend. This bait's a bust. <laughs> oh. 
spoke too soon. Sorry, but we're in a rush. Gotcha. Just sea devils? Too bad. Interesting. Lightning will cause them to attack less, and then frost will weaken them or will pressure them. Come on, let me at him. Good time. Coming. It, it hits them with slow. I got go on. It's curious. Don't bet against me. Better go tell Kyrie. Right. So, uh, what about the mayor's other request? You know, the whole take care of her thing? I mean, lying isn't the greatest, but she doesn't deserve that. Not yet, at least. <laughs> it's crazy. When all the Tifa's buffs up, because she has different auras around her, it's like she goes like Super Saiyan 1 with just Unbridled Fury, and then she goes 2 when the lightning crackles around her and then she goes three she just she just super saiyans out she just does like 20 well probably like 15 to 16 thousand damage in one combo because they had like what 20 thousand out each health and then of course by the time you get them staggered she just you just hit triangle triangle and then just blow them up <laughs> it's, it's a lot of prep it's a lot of setup that's for sure but uh, it does do the boom boom. The best way to make tracks is on Choco Bell. She's just missing one materia right now still. Right here, folks. Still missing All one materia. Hi, where are you heading today? To the beach, please. Jenny, if I could. It only saves like 35 seconds, but. And with that, my work is done. Enjoy your. Thanks, Jenny. <laughs> All right, Dingus. Welcome back, fellow work. So, did you take care of those baddies? Yep. Ah, perfect. In that case, I'm gonna go tell the mayor so I can claim my reward. Hold it. Hmm? The mayor had another request. Uh, uh, what was it? Said we should take care of you. <laughs> he what? No, this has to be a joke, right? Hate to break it to you, Kyrie, but this is no laughing matter. <laughs> <laughs> Why would he ask you, my own business partner, to 
take me out. What did I do wrong? Posed as a mark, passed off my work as yours, or think long and hard. It was like the Pink Panther saxophone right now. Ooh. So obviously, you can be direct. You can be totally on the nose. Or you can see if she comes to that conclusion herself. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna see if she's growing as a person. I, I I don't think she will, but we'll see. Oh God, I don't know. Wait a minute, is this about my looks? Ugh. It's so gorgeous that you can't take your eyes off me, distracting you from your mercenary duties, right? She is cute, but that's the best you can come up with. No, wait. Let me guess. Are you mad that I called myself a mercenary? Or was it that I pressured you into doing all the dirty work? Or that I wasn't giving you a big enough cut? Okay. Do you want to die? Mm -mm. Forgive my granddaughter <gasps> her questionable sense of humor. Why is she wearing that? I was taking some time off to enjoy the sun when I heard a merc was in town. Figured I'd pay him a visit and, well... <laughs> If Cloud hadn't come to your rescue, young lady, you would have been a goner. <sighs> Don't be fooled. That mayor's no model citizen. He's as wicked as they come. You need to pick your targets with care. Yeah, yeah. You've told me a thousand times. Make it a thousand and one, because you still don't get it. Look, I'm doing my best out here, okay? It's just that some things are beyond my control. You're the one who doesn't get it. No matter what I try every single time, it's I wouldn't do that if I were you. <laughs> oh, Kyrie, you know I only want what's best for you. And if you're to be the next guardian angel of the slums... <laughs> Honestly, I kind of get where Kyrie is coming from here. Parents want kids to listen to them because they know what's best, but they don't. They just want us to do whatever they tell us. And that really, really sucks, you know? Uh, I've always looked up to the guardian angel of the slums. But that's your thing, Grandma, not mine. And no matter how much I want to follow in your footsteps and make you proud, I can't. Because I'm not you. I'm me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You certainly sound just like me. Oh? <laughs> Ah, oh, forgive me, dear. I know I shouldn't push you or nitpick your technique. So how about this? We work together as partners, equals. Sound fair? <sighs> now then, shall we head home? The people need us. <laughs> okay, let's go. <laughs> In any case, Thanks for looking out for my little Merc. <laughs> I'll be taking her back to Midgar. Aww. Try to make sure she stays there. <laughs> Trying's about all I can do. <laughs> Thank you for stepping in back there. Eh, I was just so pissed I had to say something. <laughs> Stay strong. You too. Girl power and all that. <laughs> Come on, partner. Coming. Actually, what say we look for one last job before we leave? Oh, I've got an idea. You see, I dug up a little dirt about that mare. Just a little? <laughs> so, what do we do now? We go and tell the mare we took care of the merc. Just like you wanted. That was wholesome as heck.
It is weird that Murray just shows up in her outfit up from Remake. She would be absolutely melting. How hot is it? 106? 108 degrees? It doesn't look humid because of the way this Coastal Soul is. It could be, I don't know, it could be pretty humid. I don't know. She'd be melting. But if she's only in one scene, then why make her entire character model look different? I get it. This gorgeous beach is the crown jewel of Costa del Sol's many tours. Tour Costa del Sol in style right, with our wheelie. Oh my, this is... Beat the heat with this magical treat. I wasn't expecting that though. That was cool. Oh, there you are, friends. I heard you ran that little swindler out of town. I would have preferred a more final farewell. But she's gone, and that's enough. As a token of my thanks, accept this reward. Sir, we've got trouble. See for yourself. Oh, goodness. They even found the secret safe. It's empty. What? Ha! You better head back. We hereby bequeath your ill-gotten gains to the more deserving masses. And it's signed, the first and third guardian angels of the slums. <laughs> Radiant saviors of the sun-kissed. No way! <laughs> you go, girls! That was cool. Aerith. That was fun. Hmm. Well, while we're here, oh, man. this is oh man, you've got perfect timing. Want to go around against my little angels here? Name's Dokacha. I believe in my cards, and they what? believe in me. We're like a big happy family. What? You want to know how I got them to love me? with praise you're so cute you're so cool you gotta show them every day how much you care but i also want to tell them how strong and hard working they are too you know which is why i've been looking high and low for someone i can play against this is bob when he's making a magic the gathering deck <laughs> He makes commander decks too, so he's gonna do a lot of uh, schmoozing on those 250 cards. Well, I haven't adjusted this deck at all yet, so we'll just run it. I feel like it's time to adjust though. Feeblement deck. Hmm. Okay. Gonna play bot lane again after this. Sticky situation right now. Ochaka. <laughs> well, I mean, you know what? 
He got me. Diagonal. That's actually cheeky. We double cheeked each other. We're all cheeked up. I can't do anything about that. I already used my replaces. This one went a little weird. Oh. Question is, can he get me? Not really. That'll do it. Okay. That was goofy. I got I got a little weird. <laughs> so I can't let him get that close with um because of the diagonal on the jellyfish. Twinsies. Crazy meme build in Brotato. Hmm. There's a new update to uh, Deep Rock Galactic Survivors. Oh, this is gonna work. This is really aggressive. We're not gonna work though. No. Did not work. I'm screwed. I waffled too long on the bottom lane. Yep. I have one more replacement car that could draw. Sticky wicket. I'll try it though. See what happens. It still gives me tempo down here. Uh, okay. And yeah, these later game decks are running multiple replacement cards for sure. I'll probably take out those. Uh, <laughs>
I gotta take out the. Uh, I don't know if I can beat this guy with this deck. I think I need to take this. Uh, I think the Shola pods are too slow now. Oh, I got a new card? Oh, it's these, of course. Duh. Some adjustments. I let them play a card down there and see where they move. Diagonals, man. Damn. All on card seems to be like the next big uh, spicy thing to deal with. This boss not gonna stay. Or it is. Interesting. Block right back. They can't block right now. Doesn't really matter which lane it goes in.
There has to be a card down there. I had to wait for them to play another replacement. Another? Good God! What do we got there? Any others? The grief. If you're watching live, thank you. Hope you're enjoying the forehead and the Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. If you've been watching on YouTube, thank you as well. Don't forget, there's a ton of other playlists, a bunch of other RPGs I've been playing through, both both God of War, both Jedi games, all three Dark Souls, all the DLC, every boss, as well as Super Mario RPG. The remake on the Switch, as well as 7 Remake, and the Intermission DLC. But, I'll see you in the next one. No! My poor, poor babies! <laughs> as much as I hate to admit it, it seems you have a much stronger bond with your cards than I do. Just what do you say to them to get them to love you so much? Huh? So you let your actions speak louder than your words? I see. By the way, on a completely different subject, have you ever heard of the card, the Shadowblood Queen? Yes. Apparently there's only one. I tell you, if that's true, I hope I get the chance to see it in person someday. I bet it's the most beautiful card anyone's ever laid eyes on. Mm. This guy's freaking mana shuffling. Look at him. Isn't that illegal? There's a ref. 